while I look down from my tall window down to the busy street of mine. I couldn't hear a sound that was louder than the one inside my mind. Instead of trees, the kids were climbing up telephone antenna poles. Their mothers sat on brown park benches and were waiting to get old. Don't we all like to go out dancing to the sound of a guitar strum? Yes, it brings us back together. Though sometimes I wonder how Cause to me it's just another Way to neutralize my eyes From seeing the daily weary faces For an hour that I'm alive Alright, so today we are doing a video on urban fishing. I know I'm going to get probably some fly fishing snobs scoff at the idea, but I wanted to do a video about fly fishing these small lakes and ponds you can find in almost any urban area as just kind of a, I don't know, real world situation. I mean, we would all like to be out chasing native and wild trout. But the fact is, for the majority of us, you know, that's uh, not a realistic expectation that we can do all the time. And if you're like me, you'd rather be out fishing than not fishing. So you make do when you hit these little small stocked lakes and, you know, have fun. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is a lot of these uh, lakes, they're actually pretty hard to catch a fish in if you're doing anything but worm fishing. And through trial and error, I've developed a pretty decent way of catching quite a few fish using a fly rod. So I just wanted to share a bit of that with you guys today and see if I can't help you catch more fish uh, in these urban environments. All right, so what I generally like to start out with is when I hit these little reservoirs is because I want to figure out where the fish are, what depth they're at, and what they're hitting on. So I'll generally start out with a dry dropper. And I'll start out generally, the first fly I put on is a foam body caddis. And I like to attach to the eye for both my dropper and my tippet. So I'll put that on there and then I'll add um, a little nymph as a dropper. I do believe this little nymph is called the panty dropper. I don't know that it's really that important. It's just the um, something small to get their attention. Um, and I generally start out with like just an arm's length of tippet between the two and I'll start to vary it once I figure out how deep the water is and at what depth the fish are sitting at so that's what I generally like to start out with when I hit these uh, reservoirs just to figure out what they're hitting what depth they're at and from there I can start adjusting my flies these bodies can take quite a beat Make love and heal broken bones And keep you just fine until something inside The size of a speck starts to grow A friend was a month from his wedding When he was sat down for the news And his wife the nurse took him over to church And said a prayer to the Savior they knew Oh, sometimes I wonder if there's a reason life gets so hard well, Maybe you find what holds you together when things try to tear you apart Well, nice 
nice little rainbow, a little stalker. So this is the size you can expect to be catching out of these stock ponds. But they're fun to catch and it's sure better than just sitting around the house. Just let this guy go. There he goes. Next day his wife took a razor. Shaved off every hair on his head. Looked at his face and said, I love you just the same as they wandered swiftly back to bed. You know, sometimes I wonder if there's a reason life gets so hard. Well, maybe you find what holds you together when things try to tear you. One thing you need to keep in mind when fishing the still water with a dry dropper rig is don't get in a rush with it. Throw it out there and let it do its job. Keep mending your line and keep your rod tip down so that you're set up to set the hook if something hits. But don't get in a rush to constantly be dragging the flies around. Just let it sit out there and do its thing. She kissed him on his head. There we go. That was another really soft, soft take. Play these guys in pretty gentle. Just using this lightweight tippet, you can break them off on a fish this side. Oh, there he is! There he is. Another nice little rainbow. I'll try to. Grab these guys and get the hook out of their mouth and get them back in the water as quick as I can. You know, they may just be little stalker fish, but, you know, it's still important to respect the fish and get them taken care of and back in the water so they can live to get bigger. The nice thing about using these little barbless hooks is you can get the hook out pretty fast. So, well, get him on his way. Revived. Let him swim off on his own. Sometimes when the water is a little bit warmer, they take a little bit to warm up to it, but just let them swim off on their own and they're usually pretty good. Feels like a good one. Boy, he's heavy. Feels like a nice fish. Oh. Get him up on the reel. Try to get him up on the reel here. <clears throat> this one feels like he's got a lot of weight. 
feels like a real heavy fish. Bigger than the ones we have been catching. Try to get a visual on him here. Oh, he feels so heavy. Oh, he's taking line. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. That is a cool fish. So that there is just that little teeny tiny nymph that's been catching these fish, even this big guy, old size 22. Pulls out real easy since it's barbless. Look at that guy, beautiful coloring. I like to make sure I'm handling them just inside the net here. Makes for a lot safer release. Look at that guy though. Just a gorgeous fish. Oh, 
let's get him back in the water. Wow. What a fish. Oh, well, that's what it's all about right there. Um, don't expect to catch fish like that every time you're out fly fishing these uh, little ponds. That's the biggest fish, or the biggest rainbow trout I've ever pulled out of one of these little urban ponds. But it does just go to show that, um, you know, there are fish like that out here in these little urban ponds. So, you never know if you're not out there. And, uh, you know, once again, you know, obviously it was a little stalker trout. And, um, you know, some people may scoff at that, you know, because they're only into the wild trout thing. But, you know, realistically, it's a very, very, very small portion of people who can only get out and fly fish for um, wild trout only. So, um, you know, if you can get out and enjoy these small little ponds, go for it. I mean, like I said, we all want to get out and hit up these native, got one. Oh, it's another big one. Could it be the same fish? <laughs> nope, there's a new one. Oh my god, this is on fire today. Just on fire. This dude is a stud, too. Two in a row. My second cast right after that. Once again, this is just a public lake. This isn't a special access lake. This is just a public lake in the, pretty much the inner city of Colorado Springs. And this is the third big fish that I've hooked into today. Just phenomenal. Look at him. You feel really heavy. I know it's been a while Since we've kissed Or even since I've seen you And once again we went too long Without talking So I hope I did I didn't catch these big fish but it's <laughs> this all day um, This is only the third time I've been out to this event before we go in uh, Most of the fish I've been catching Oh, he's making it right Oh, there he goes There he goes Did you see that jump? But this ain't gonna take long I'll Oh, he's a good one He's a good one He got all the way out of the water on that run I was hoping maybe you could ease my worried mind Going back, going back Oh Now there ain't you know, this may not be as, I guess, uh, prestigious as catching these wild trout that everyone's all big on, but this is pretty exciting out here in New If you don't get excited to catch a fish like this, then maybe you should reevaluate what you're fly fishing for, because for me, I just like catching fish and getting outside, and this is everything that I'm looking for. For you know, be able to come spend a couple hours on the water without having to drive an hour and a half, two hours to get to, you know, native trout waters. There you go. really important when you're fishing for these big fish like this or if you hook in one of these big fish that you uh, you don't try to rip, rush them in run really lightweight tippet here and they can just break that so you gotta be careful stay true for you save my lips for you Sleep alone for you. Yes, I will wait for you. Oh, it won't be 
too long Till I'm coming back to visit But it couldn't be you till I'm back for good So I'm asking you a question But if you don't wanna, then don't tell me But if the answer's yes, I really wish you would Can you wait for me, stay true for me, save your lips for me? You know, it's not often I get the opportunity to catch back-to-back -back fish that are this good-sized. This one is a lot bigger than that last one. A lot bigger. For me. Man, this fish is a lot bigger than that last one. A lot bigger. Crazy big. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. Don't mind selling out or playing cover song Just as long as friends and family sing along And I don't need more money or faster car no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar no. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone in my heart how you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me To by land, by air, by sea And that is how it's supposed to be Now And that much I can say Now I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shell And how rare it is that I stay up past twelve In the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good I beg your pardon in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me To by land, by air, by sea And that is how it's supposed to be Now, and that much I can say Now they don't love us, we don't Bad need them. Let's find our own friend of free. Oh, there he is! If they don't love us, <laughs> that is a fish! Oh, wow, what a fight, too! Oh, that thing is a toad. He was not hit that good either. Don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor anymore. Anymore. Oh, look at that fish. 
<laughs> oh. Look at that thing. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Look at that fish. Look at the size of him. I bet he is every bit of 25 inches. I'll have to measure. Because 20 inches from the tip of my index finger to my uh, elbow. Ah, oh, thing is gorgeous. Oh, fish. Look at that guy. You are the I mean, that thing is just a stud. What a rainbow. Especially if this has to be good. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that is awesome. What a fish. What a fish. Wow. That was amazing. I have <laughs> two big fish like that in the world. I do want to point out that those are the two biggest fish I've ever caught. Um, my fishing. Uh, that is the exception and not the norm. Um, that last rainbow trout, there's a really good chance that probably one of the all time biggest. There's one. This is more of a normal size fish for a small trout. This is the size of trout that I'm normally considered to find up long. But, um. So, if you're not catching monstrous trout like that last one, don't stress that, like I said, that is the exception and not the board. Um, yeah, that last trout I caught is probably one of the biggest rainbow trout I've ever caught in my life. Look at this bar. I would like to point out once again that little guy is what caught all the fish today, including those two really big ones. So it's really just going to go you have to throw big, uh, big flies for big fish. Um, I don't know, I've heard all the crazy things people say. Big flies for big fish, streamers if you want to catch big fish, all that stuff. But um, really, I've never had much luck with throwing streamers in these little pods. I can slam trout all day on rivers and stuff with streamers, but I move mean, the uh, little uh, reservoir, urban reservoir. Trout. I think it's just because they see so many lures every single day. I've never had any good luck with them. I've caught a few on like little tiny leech patterns, but I run those more like a nymph than a streamer. But the little teeny nymph sure seems to be doing the trick today. There we go. Oh yeah, there's another nice one. Uh, I don't think he's as big as that last one, but he feels like he's pretty heavy. Especially considering the size I usually catch out of these little urban ponds. We'll see if he surfaces. He might be a pretty good sized fish. You know, I had all these grand plans 
about talking about how I actually go through the process of prospecting for these trout and what kind of fly combinations I start using to try and figure out what they're hitting on and what they're biting but these guys have been doing so well on the little hopper dropper dry dropper rather that uh yeah I haven't really had a chance to kind of talk about any of that absolutely phenomenal day of fishing though as you let go of everything he knew I still feel like I'm letting go of you I still feel like I'm letting go of you cause those were the days but something was wrong I looked you in your face and I told you that my love was gone that's when it left I chased her like a young girl I tried to find someone to make me right I know now no one can It emptied me of everything I got I still feel like I'm letting go of you I still feel like I'm letting go of you but something was wrong I looked you in your face And I told you that my love was gone There we go, boy that's a good fish and anybody's still can do it Look at that guy, look at that guy Look at that guy One of you Check that out You got an easy guy I'm so unsteady Cause I keep lose And I don't want to There we go, look at that trout That is a beautiful, beautiful trout Alright, back in the water I breathe you I breathe you This has been a phenomenal day on this reservoir. When I look down from my tall window down to the busy street of mine, I couldn't hear normal trout for louder. Fishing is an urban environment. Inside my mind, said if you just like catching fish, it's great. Because you can catch fish like this all day, right? We're getting fun. Don't we all like to go out dancing to the sound of a guitar strum? Yes, it brings us back together Though sometimes I wonder how Cause to me it's just another Way to neutralize my eyes From seeing the daily weary faces For an hour that I'm alive Still I'm playing out for nickels I keep him in a wooden drawer so that one day I can afford her diamonds and pearls 
But when I hold her head, I understand that she's worth a whole lot more than I could ever afford. In my room, there is no mistaking. I have the world upon my lap And with my steel guitar I slide its endless dream of misfortunes out But the song that I am singing I've sung it a thousand times or more It never changed the way I acted Once I went outside the door I'm playing out for nickels. I keep him in a wooden All right, so that was so that the Urban Fisherman Volume 1. I didn't get as much in this episode as I wanted to, mostly because uh, the fish were obviously biting really well on what I started out with, so I didn't have to start switching it up. But we caught three absolutely tremendous fish today and then a good handful of kind of just average sized fish for urban environments if you liked this video uh, leave a comment below if you'd like to have another episode maybe on a day that is you know maybe the fish bite more or less and just like more methods of how to actually you know have these hard to catch fish um once again, today was pretty phenomenal. I don't get a whole lot of days like that in these urban environments, but never look a gift horse in the mouth, and never question a 25-inch rainbow. So, thanks for watching, and like I said, let me know if you'd like to see another episode.